Hello there, CMS percussion families. Uh, this is a quick video here about a uh, complicated issue uh, about percussion upgrades. It's something that we want you to consider in seventh uh, or eighth grade. Um, it's the right time now to start thinking about what instrument is going to serve the purposes of practicing at home for the next couple years and into high school, hopefully. Uh, we highly recommend taking a look at the instrument that you have now and make a plan as a family because it's a financial commitment and uh, it takes some, some careful planning and thinking about which instrument you might want to upgrade to. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this so I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible and, and make it succinct and quick. So it's time to begin shopping and comparing and um, you can think about upgrading mallet instruments, drum sets, and snare drums. So the instrument that you get in fifth grade is a bell kit. Uh, it's uh, kind of an introductory instrument. It's actually not quite even an instrument. It's more of a practice. Uh, it's practice equipment for preparing you to play music on a real instrument. The good thing is that it's portable, it's small, and it fits the small kids that are learning on it. It's affordable uh, and it's complete. It comes in one package and has everything that you might need. Uh, everything is miniature uh, and so it serves the, the beginning band kids pretty well. However, it's not a real instrument and it's not uh, a real part of the percussion section, um, but it is great for beginners. So it's time to kind of think about moving on from that. My recommendation is to begin by selling that instrument um, on eBay or Craigslist or to a friend or donating the instrument to the school for other beginners to use and then to start shopping for uh, upgrades. If you rent from a, a company, it's maybe time to check in with that company and see what they have to offer as an upgrade. All the companies have something that they've been working on for an upgrade instrument. So the bell kit in middle school, it no longer serves the students' needs. It's too small. Uh, it's not the best tone quality. There are screws and um, you know the bars are really small and really thin. So the rebound quality, the, um, the tone of each bar is, is not great. And we don't need them at school anymore. We're playing on full-size instruments at school <clears throat> that are much bigger than a bell kit. Uh, and students can develop a, a dislike or an aversion to wanting to practice at home. And they usually end up not working on, on the bell kit at home, maybe as a side project now and again. But uh, really, it doesn't serve their needs as, a, as a, uh, an older percussionist, as a more maturing player. Uh, the instruments that um, we have at school, you know, they range from marimbas to vibes to xylophone. We have glockenspiels. Those are all the mallet instruments. We have drum set and snare drum and timpani and congas and all sorts of other instruments that are professional models or full-size instruments. Uh, kids can develop a, a bad technique. The mallets are tiny. The sticks are light and um, the wood isn't very dense. They're not long, long enough in uh, the pads are just not cut out for an older kid or a larger size person. Kids end up standing too close. They rely on the note names uh, too much. The stroke becomes miniature. And we're working on a full legato stroke here in year three and four. So it's, it's time to think about this recommendation of looking at full-size instruments. And it's also tricky besides being a financial commitment. It's also uh, confusing which area you would want to specialize in or think about an upgrade uh, because there's a, some different parts. You could upgrade a drum set first and then work on snare drum or work on mallets third or you could start by getting a big mallet instrument or something like that. So there's a lot to think about. The benefits of a full-size instrument, you perform better with better tone. There's more incentive to practice musically because you're actually making music. All the other instruments pay more than percussionists do for their instruments, and they get a real instrument, a real instrument in a case that makes real music, uh, not practicing for when they get a chance to play real music. So it's a whole different mindset that goes into it when you have uh, a full-size instrument. And when parents are invested that much in a real music instrument, they get more involved. They're hearing more real music being made at home, and they, they tend to have more uh, just emotional and mental investment in their kids' performance and their music practice. So uh, most of the top percussionists at the high school um, have their own drum sets, marimbas, and snare drums as well. It just gives them an opportunity to practice more at home. 
cost consideration is uh, is daunting. It's a big leap. It's but it is comparable to other instruments. Uh, most of the other instruments are in that five hundred to fifteen hundred dollar range, and so that's uh, that's something that just makes sense to when you have a real instrument to have one that's a, a good quality functioning instrument. More of the manufacturers are making um, uh, better instruments that are lower lower priced and are more marketable towards these kids that are looking for upgrades. The used market is active. You can find stuff on Craigslist. Um, there's plenty of kids in Eden Prairie that are reselling marimbas when they go off to college. <clears throat> the re resale value is great. Most people are finding that they're Let's say they bought a marimba for two thousand dollars. They'll be able to they're able to resell it for eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred dollars, and it's totally worth the money. Most of the vendors that you rent from also op offer upgrades to some of these model instruments. So these are some of our recommendations. The standard performance of a concert marimba, performance size of a concert marimba is four and a third octaves, uh, and so you'll see that. And Paduke is the wood of choice these days. You'll see it spelled lots of different ways. So don't be surprised if you can't quite search it on Google. <clears throat> There's three different or four different ways that you can spell it. But that replaces rosewood as the primary wood. Um, and this is a concert marimba by Adams for $2,400. We highly recommend that. It's our, probably our top recommendation. Um, and tied for first is the Yamaha 4 and 3rd octave Paduke marimba. It's very common in Eden Prairie. This is probably the most popular one. Um, dozens of kids have this at the high school. Uh, if you're looking for a smaller Something that maybe fits in a smaller room uh, in a smaller range. It's a three and a half, three and a half octave Paduke Marimba, sixteen fifty by Yamaha, and then we have a Ross three octave Prolon synthetic Marimba. So these are not real wood bars. This is the upgrade instrument that a lot of the vendors have chosen over the years. So you'll find lots of these in the Twin Cities area. <clears throat> Here's one that's almost exactly the same. They call it a xylophone, but otherwise it's the same. And here's a newer model that they've come up with. Uh, they got rid of the resonators, and so that saves quite a bit of money. And they got rid of uh, a, a, um, a frame that's attached to the whole instrument. So this is a separate kind of keyboard frame that can be adjusted. Uh, and here's one where you can see the channels underneath the bars kind of act as if they're a resonator, even though they're not separate tubes for each bar. Three and a third octave Paduke Practice Marimba by Majestic. So that's, a, that's kind of the new standard. And then there's this type of model with a little X stand. Uh, it's Academy Series Practice Marimba for 1200 So those are all the, uh, the types of marimbas. And you're going to see increased music making, more passionate practice, more desire to practice, more invest, invested, and more incentive to fulfill the promise that they've made to their parents. That is a, that is a real thing, and it makes a big difference. So hopefully we're going to make a new generation of percussionists that are having more fun and practicing more and performing more. Some look for is when you're purchasing. Rosewood bars are not something we would even want you to be looking at. They are, um, the rosewood trees are being burnt down in the, in the rainforest and have been for a long time. That's why the price has gone through the roof, uh, 10000 or more dollars for a, for a four and a third octave or a five octave marimba. Paduke is kind of the new standard for, uh, for performance and students' practice spaces. <clears throat> it's a beautiful sounding wood. It's not quite as resonant as rosewood but it works great. Otherwise, synthetic uh, bars are good. Take a look and see if the bars are graduated. That means they not only get thin, um, shorter as you go up, but they also get thinner. So uh, the big, wide, lower bars is something that people like to look for. They resonate better. Uh, the intermediate or practice marimbas will also bring down the price a little bit, but a contemporary full-size instrument is uh, down to a low A, four, four and a third octave marimba. And uh, you don't really need portability anymore. This is not something you would be bringing back and forth to school. So adjustability is good. You want to be able to raise it and lower it, but you do not need to be portable. These um, Eckroth, Growth, and Schmidt, those are kind of the local places that you would be renting from. They usually have a program where you can continue your rental agreement and just uh, work in a new price for, for an upgrade. If you're looking to purchase, they all will help you out as well. Steve Weiss Music would probably be the cheapest place of all, but there's a usually a hundred dollar delivery fee for large items like this. Woodwind and Brasswind.com, Musicians Friend, and of course eBay and Craigslist are great places to shop. Let me know or talk to your band director if you have any questions about it. We can help you shop for these and tell you which ones to avoid if you are getting serious about it. Other options for practice, you could practice on a piano. We recommend that over 
uh, at this age, that's probably better than playing on the bell kit. Uh, MarimbaRental.com is a local company, so if you wanted to try out, do a trial period instead of uh, paying the whole thing, you can just try it and see how it goes. They have a, a stock of all the different instruments that I mentioned. You can practice at school weekly, and this just takes a new commitment, but a lot of people come in um, during some time during the school, or they have a, a weekly slot that they have let their band directors know they're coming in, and they can work in our band rooms or in our studio. These are what we have available at school. We've got a Yamaha. Actually, we have three of those. Those are about four hundred, about forty-five hundred dollars each. We've got a nice, beautiful Yamaha xylophone, uh, vibraphone to practice on. And we have three xylophones as well to practice on. So, we have a great studio here at school. Now, drum sets is another thing to consider upgrading. You can take a look at all the different parts. You might want to freeze on this. And when you're shopping, just make sure you're getting all the different parts. Um, there's a lot more that needs to be said there, but we're going to move on here. Brand names are usually better quality. Beware of anything under $300. The cheap instruments don't last and they don't have resale value. So we're looking at spending you know, somewhere between $250, $300, all the way up to $700. These are the main brand names that you'll see. There are many more than this, but these are some of the most popular in this area. These are the kind of the three most popular symbol names too. So check that out. And there are vast variety of, of prices and qualities and different purposes for all the different symbols and drums that you might buy. So these are some of the off-brand instruments that you might want to avoid. These are the cheaper brands that you see out there. This is what we have to practice on at school. We've got a Yamaha Tour Custom for $1,000. We bought it and this beautiful stage custom drum set for $700. Some things that you want to look for, um, that both heads are in good shape, that it's not missing any tuning rods, uh, totally needs to be playable and look good. The laminate or shell should be in good shape, no sun damage. Uh, all the hardware should be there. And if you're not sure, talk to me or talk to your director and just know that the more fancy it is, the more the fancier the colors are, the more expensive it's going to be. Guitar Center is a great place to get your feet wet looking at drum sets. But uh, I would definitely go to Craigslist once you know what you want. Uh, eBay and Craigslist are great spots to go. Other options for practicing on drum set, same as marimba. We've got those great drum sets here. You can practice anytime you want. Snare drum is another thing. Um, the same thing can be said about snare drum that we said about drum set. Um, if you're going to upgrade to a, a, a real snare drum, a full-size snare drum, you're going to want to get one of these brand names and spend, you know, $75 or more and get a real nice drum with good heads on it. These are the kind we have at school. If you're not interested in buying one, you can definitely use one of ours. We've got a bunch of these uh, Ludwigs and then we've got the beautiful Pearl Philharmonic snare drum that's kind of our awesome drum. Some look for is same things as with drum sets. You're going to want to make sure that it's all in good shape and that the hardware is there. Putting new heads on a snare drum can make a huge difference. So if you bought a little bit cheaper drum and then spent another $30 on heads, you would uh, definitely it would definitely be worth it. Same same places to buy as drum set. And, um, so basically, uh, these are the things that we recommend. We hope you hope you can take a look at it. Otherwise, you can decide to create a practice schedule here uh, at school, and and that can be a, a good a good option for now. Uh, but it is nice to look at these new instruments or used instruments and consider buying them. They're going to make a big difference and you're playing. And again, if you have any questions about it, we're, we're just recommending this. It's not a requirement, but uh, hopefully you can understand why the bell kit, um, being a miniature practice kind of preparation instrument, is, is not real and it's not going to suffice during these years. So it's important to start thinking about what you're going to move into for a, a practice situation. Okay, so hopefully that answers a few questions. Uh, contact me uh, or your band director if you have more questions. Thanks for listening.